Hi, I'm Jennifer Branch. It's kind of a dreary rainy day today here in the south and I thought I would paint a rainy day in Venice because there's nothing more romantic than a rainy day in Venice. So let's paint. I'm using Saunders Waterford paper again, rough press, and I thought you'd like a couple palette shots. I'm using a mop brush, not my huge one, but my number six, and I'm mixing a couple colors together, some Quin Rust and some Nickel Azo Yellow and some Cobalt Violet on my palette before I get started. So I'm just going around and roughing in all these windows. I'm leaving lots of holes, which, you know, it's that sparkly sheen of the rain. And so the rough pressed paper is perfect for leaving lots of holes. And I'm just going from these three uh, colors and uh, just moving around the painting. There's a little bit of a menu board outside this restaurant. Some umbrellas and people walking and I'm going to go back. I know I'm going to go back in with some gouache, so I'm not worried too much about reserving huge areas of white, but I do want that sparkly rain feeling. So I'm leaving, leaving lots of gaps and I'll fill some of them and some of them will just add to the texture, so it just depends. A little bit darker underneath the umbrellas. More of the slightly tinge towards the cobalt violet. Adding some cobalt blue. So it's nice and shady underneath the umbrellas. That's quinacridone rust, so it's a very warm uh, reddish brown, kind of burnt sienna, but more transparent. And then a little bit of that with the nickel azo. And I'm adding more texture. There's beautiful geraniums and all kinds of things hanging down, so it gets really interesting. Um, with the stucco, some of it's, you know, worn away, some of it's there. It's really interesting. A bit more coin rust in that mix. And see, I'm just going around underneath the windows, and this is the top of the doors, and outlining the umbrellas a little bit, but um, just going around and reinforcing the shapes of the objects. Bit of um, cobalt teal, just for a little bit more texture. It's a very granulating color. And you'll see that gets really interesting when it dries. Now it's time to start on one of the more beautiful areas is the old cobblestone streets and the reflections from the rain because it's all shiny and you've got the golden reflections and a little bit of sheen from the rain and it's just gorgeous. So usually Venice is on a river, but <laughs> now the river's in the streets. Luckily not for very long. This was just a brief summer shower.
So doing the reflections there and getting some nice deep darks, but warm darks underneath the umbrellas. The umbrellas will be red. So obviously the light filtered through them is going to be very, very warm. So warm darks only. Quinacridone rust. Just a little bit of the cobalt teal in there makes a difference. And now some gorgeous warm colors on the building that's close. It's two very, very warm buildings on either side of this. So that's really interesting. Basically, the warm is surrounding more cool colors in this case, which makes sense because it's a rainy day, so we're kind of highlighting that. So when rust, a little bit of cobalt blue, just to make it that slightly dark, but a little bit chalky. Do the doorway. And see, it's starting to look like something now because you're framing the painting, the um, center of interest. Some blues, it doesn't really matter, it just needs to be dark and kind of cool. About the same colors on the other side and that way it, it repeats it's it's a nice frame make lasso yellow that'll really warm it up you don't want them to be exactly the same just kind of the same colors around in it and the, those little lines there are pretty important because you don't they lead you into the painting so we've got this cool area surrounded by warm and all these lines are leading you directly into the subject of the painting. A little bit more detail there. And then the reflection pulling that color through. Just takes a bit and it starts feeling, feeling like a rainy day. I, I don't like that bead at the bottom edge of the painting. I usually end up blotting that with a rag. It just gets a little, um, it's a buildup of color there. And I guess I'm, I'm also used to painting on the deckle edge stuff a lot and you want to show the edges there and this you would frame and mat, mat in, you know, a quarter inch all around, but, um, I don't like that. And if you don't too, just plot it as you go. Some warm colors up here too. Continuing to frame that cool area where the most contrast is. Sparkly for the rain and the stucco texture, all of it. Nothing is too even and perfect in Venice. That's why it's so much fun to paint. But this is the kind of street scene that you could paint. Um, you might not want to sit out there in the rain, but you could certainly take a photo. Um, rain and watercolor don't always go together. But um, it's the type of street scene that you could paint anywhere in the world. There's cafes with umbrellas, awnings, whatever, and beautiful long street scenes that pull you into them. 
some warmer colors there. And the trick here is to do just enough detail so we know what it is, but not so much that, um, not so much that it distracts from, this painting really has two focal points where you are pulled down that street and also the people walking by in the cafe. And I think the cafe is the much more interesting focal point but the other gives some depth and meaning to the painting. So you kind of want to cut it off with some umbrellas and other things like that. So you circle back to the people and the awning. Now it's time to add another layer on the background there, my center of interest. I, um, I'm adding some deep, deep darks, and it really does need several layers of washing to add those deep darks there. I remember all those people sitting and eating that aren't really there in the photo, um, they're in shadow. So just do them very, they're silhouettes against the bright light of the window because the light inside the restaurant and they're shadowed by the dark red umbrella which we haven't painted red but it will be and so they don't need detail more detail is going to make them not look quite right so keep the shadows deep keep them kind of um you have to have some of the reddish in there from the the umbrella uh, color, but you also are wanting cooler shadows than the very, very hot warms around. So there's a bit more detail in that area, but still not a lot because the people are in shadow. They're silhouetted against the light of the windows, the doors behind them, but there's still just not a lot there that you can really see. Um, what we're looking for is more contrast in the shapes of the people and objects like the chairs, not, you know, let's paint every nose and, and all their hair. We're just looking for the idea of people. Now we've done a little bit more on the pavement. It's starting to look really interesting. Um, Tone down some of the brights in the windows and it's really coming along. Just a tiny bit of detail down that long narrow street. I really don't want to draw too much attention to it, but it does, it leads your eye that way. So I want to lead it there and then stop it. Now it's time for the umbrellas. I still kind of have a mixed emotions about this. It was the red umbrellas and they're very beautiful, um, even prettier in um, when it's not raining, but you know, this is a rainy day painting, um, very cheery but I do like that white contrast. I like extreme contrast at the center of interest and the red does dull down the contrast a little bit. So eh, it might've been better if I had left them white, but I don't know, red's pretty nice too. So let me know what you think on the comments on that. The red does make it for a darker, uh, it, it's better for showing that sheen. You can't really do that on the, the white. So there's that too.
and then a little bit of the same red kind of reflecting up there. And the red is done with um, pyro red and cobalt violet. bit more detail where there are shadows. And you notice I'm using my smaller sable here. The number eight is a bay. Some bright reds back there. Now it's time for the people that are actually moving and walking in this. Blue umbrella, so that's a nice contrast there. And just a little bit of detail, not too much. I'm still wanting, they're still in shadow. It's still kind of a dreary, dark day. And um, the sun's kind of shining through the rain. And so there's some highlights, but there isn't a lot of detail because in the shadows. Shadows rarely have that much detail. And even less when it's kind of an overcast day. Just a little bit of the bright red. It's the pyrrole red again, just to draw a little attention, right? And I'm going to repeat some of the same red in some of the diners outfits and the geraniums. And it shows, but it's not it's not too contrasty, just just a little bit of color. Just some vague shapes, like maybe there's some more diners back there. The menu board is half in the sunlight or light and half in the shade. I love those red geraniums. They're just gorgeous, just dripping, beautiful. Um, I really like the delicate ones too. These are more the classic red geraniums, but the delicate, more old fashioned ones were really interesting. I, I haven't seen many of them around here, but I'd love to have some dripping off my deck. Tiny bit more detail in the back, just a little bit. And you see, finger painting is all right. See how it looks like there's a lot of detail in the background with those people silhouetted, but there really is not very much there. You notice I'm really not painting with the whole um, brush tip there, just, just the very tip of it. Now I need some white gouache 
um, just a little bit for highlights on the faces and a couple areas that got lost. So now some of the lines of the street, but I want that kind of the spotlit area where the people are walking through and the edge of the restaurant. Kind of refocusing there. Some of the Nicolazzo Yellow Quin Rust. And here's the finished painting. I hope you had as much fun painting that beautiful romantic Venice scene as I did. Just imagine going and sitting at one of those tables and watching the rain wash the streets. Just beautiful. Thank you very much for watching this with me. If you have any questions about paint colors or anything else, they're up on my website, paintingwatercolor.com, as usual. And if you have any questions, please ask. I am here to help you. I love, I love painting with you. Happy painting.